Hi everyone. Uh, it is March the 2nd, 2022. Uh, and today, as you noticed on my previous video, I'm doing a collaboration with the sim uh with the Haycar sim uh Haycar team. Uh, this is a new uh sim unlock. This is going to be the new uh sim unlock uh remote. Uh, it's gonna be done via remote. Uh, we're not gonna need any uh any sim cards at all. Due to everything is gonna be over the air. Uh, I have an iPhone XR. It is sim lock. This iPhone has been updated to the latest iOS. Uh, this one is for testing purposes. It's an iOS 15.3 iPhone XR and SIM lock. It gives you the description and the, the restrictions as well. And we're going to be using the Hacker SIM uh, remote. Uh, the website is uh, HacarSIM.com forward slash uh, products forward slash remote. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Uh, they have a sale going on from one thirty nine to ninety ninety nine. I don't know how long it's going. To, I don't know how long it's going to be the sale. Uh, uh, do you need any products or you have any questions? Please reach out to them. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link uh, on the website and this link as well for you to download and follow step by step. Like I mentioned, it this iPhone is locked to T-Mobile. Uh, and I want to use my Spectrum, Spectrum Mobile. So quick, this is going to be a quick test just to make sure the iPhone is SIM locked. Gonna wait for the activation screen to send me to uh, SIM not supported. There you go, SIM not supported. And like I said, we don't need anything else. Everything is gonna be done via remote. Uh, I already have a, a QR code for the unlock. So I'm gonna take my Spectrum card, SIM tray, SIM tray is empty. So no, no SIM card. So I'm just gonna put my SIM tray back and then I'm gonna go back to the website. And this is going to be, I'm gonna be using the eSIM option on my phone. If you have an easy option on your phone, this is gonna be the, uh, I believe iPhone XR uh, XS. All the way through 13 Pro Max, uh, they have the eSIM option. That means that you can have two lines in one phone. Just double check about. If you have any questions, just go to settings. We want to make sure you go to settings. About. And you go and you just scroll down. And there is two SIMs available. Two IMA, two IMA, IMA. IME, IME2, the one is for your physical SIM, the one IME, the first IME is for your physical SIM card, and the IME2 is for your eSIM. Okay, so no, we have no SIM inserted, so it's empty. Go back to the website, and I'm going to follow these steps. And this video might take a little bit longer because this is the first time I'm doing it. Uh, please bear with me, okay? So the first step, I, I recommend you to read the steps first before you do anything. Just read them through. Uh, just gonna download the certificate. So we need to download a certificate. And there is a link. So you're gonna click on the link. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, sorry for the lining, guys, but I'm doing this really quick. Uh, that is for the, this is where you're gonna get the certificate. You just click, click on it. I'm 
going to copy. Going to open a new tab. And I'm going to paste the link. Okay, so step number two, download the certificate. So just allow, profile, close. And then we're going to go to number two, install the certificate, trust and Install the certificate and trust the certificate. That means we need to go back to settings. We need to go back to settings again. And then we're going to scroll down. And then we're going to go VPN uh, device management, VPN device management. So that is our certificate right there. Download profile. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to install. I'm going to click install. Install. Then on the bottom, install. Then I'm going to hit done. I'm connected to Wi Fi. And then let's go to the proxy. Go to settings. That's my Wi Fi. I want to make sure I'm connected to Wi Fi. And then on my Wi-Fi, if I'm going to go to my connection, and do you see the little circle next to it? Just click on it. And there is the option for you. That's the menu for your Wi-Fi. And then for your Wi-Fi, you're going to scroll down. Then we're going to configure the proxy. Scroll down, configure proxy, you know, click on it, and then we're going to hit manual. That's the server. On the server, we're going to click server, and we're gonna, we are going to type eSIM. Make sure you type it correctly, guys, because if you made a little, you make a little mistake, uh, that would throw off the whole setting. So I'm gonna type eSIM. Dot. SimHub. S I M H U B. Dot. C N. Forward slash. I'm sorry, you don't need the forward slash. On um, port, you're gonna put uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna save. Now hit save. Okay, one is done. I um, I just want to make sure I put it correctly. Is sim the sim hub the cn, and then port. Uh, it is one two three four five. Okay, you're gonna go out, and then by then you should have your QR code or the activation code. Uh, you're gonna go Wi Fi, and then settings back to settings and then you're going to go back to cellular and uh, as you can see there is no uh there is no sim card so automatically it's picking up uh the ad cellular plan because that's the only option on the on your phone so you're going to click on ad cellular plan and it's asking you for the uh our, the qr code uh, i already download on a separate phone i took a picture 
and download it into a different form or you can take a picture and I don't know, send it to your friend or your girlfriend, wife, or if you have another iPhone, another phone available, take a picture of the QR code because you're going to need it. Okay, so let me go to my QR code. So this is my QR code that I downloaded on my other phone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to let my phone to pick up the code. Okay, it doesn't want to pick my phone, the QR code. Let's go back. Let's go back and see what we did wrong. Like I said, this video might take a little bit longer than usual because this is the first time I'm doing it. Uh, and I'm going to show you step by step what to expect. I know some of you don't like that I talk too much. Uh, but the reason I do it is because I would like to teach you the way I was teach. Uh, the way I was uh the way that somebody else teach me uh but you know you can up this everyone um so let's go back and see what we did wrong so we did the configuration go to settings uh device management let's see we have our certificate has been installed and verified back let's go to the wi-fi make sure i put the correct the correct proxy configuration let's go to my wi-fi i'm going to click on the, on the little circle then i'm going to scroll down i'm going to go to my configure proxy i have it on manual So menu is um, maybe it does need the uh, the forward slash. Okay, so I type e sim dash sim hub dash cn forward slash. I'm gonna save it. Maybe that was the issue. And. Make sure everything is correct. Okay. Now it says internet, no internet connection. Even though I'm connected, but I'm using my, uh, the proxy. Okay, let's go back. And then I'm gonna add my cellular again, add cellular plan. Uh, let me go back and get my QR code. So that's the code that I downloaded earlier. It still doesn't want to pick it up. Give me one second, guys. Let's fill it there. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna check the QR code, make sure it's correct. Uh, be right, to be for you guys. It won't take any, uh, it won't take any longer, but I'm gonna pause it real quick. Okay, guys, so we're gonna make sure we download everything correctly. Uh, general and then device management. And that's our profile that we downloaded in Verify. Go back. And then from here, we need to go to Wi Fi. I'm gonna click on the little circle, the little blue circle, and we're gonna go scroll down, configure proxy, and then manual. And then we're gonna type eSIM. And remember, make sure you type correctly because if you misspell one word, uh, I'll throw off the whole configuration. Uh, dot sim hub dot 
C N and then for port second option you're gonna type one two three four five you're gonna save back to Wi Fi back settings back to settings and then from here From here, we're going to go to general and then about scroll down where it says certificate trust setting. You're going to click on it and then we're going to click enable full trust for root certificates. We're going to continue, go back, general, and then now we should be able to scan our code or. Okay, let me get my QR code. So I'll go back to settings. I'm gonna go to cellular, add cellular plan. Okay, it's ready to scan. So I'm gonna put my certificate. And then I'm going to add. So now, the, now I read this plan that is ready to be used. So I'm going to hit add cellular plan. I'm going to loot. I'm going to let it do their own thing. So it is primary is activating. Activation required. I'm gonna hit dismiss, swipe up like a regular do. I'll continue. And I'm just waiting for the activation to be completed. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we don't need any ICC ID, uh, no SIM card, no anything. Uh, this was done via remote. Um, sorry, this video took a little bit longer because, uh, like I said, that was the first time I'm doing it, uh, and I want to see what was. I want to see the outcome, and you see that we have a few. Uh, we have a little downtime. Uh, for you, don't see that, but for me, I had to go back to, and do some research. Uh, but at the end, so we follow the steps, step by step. Uh, now, I can graph my my spectrum again. And I'll go back, let me close everything. Uh, settings. If you wanted to, you can go back to your settings and delete the certificate, it's up to you. Uh, it won't mess anything. Uh, it says it recommended for you to turn off the proxy. So let's do it. Uh, let's go back, general, uh, device management. So that is the that's the profile that we download that we download so we can uh it says let me see let me I'm doing a step by a step I don't want to mess it up okay for the Wi-Fi we go recommend to go to Wi-Fi again and go to the proxy and turn it off save okay so the proxy is off we don't need that now the second step One second, guys. I'm reading. I'm reading. Sorry, sorry. And then we turn on the proxy. Proxy is off. Uh, so the second step is to delete the certificate. We don't need it anymore. The iPhone is supposed to be uh, unlocked by now. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna go on. I'm doing. I'm following the steps. So on the certificate, you're gonna click on it and remove profile. Remove it. Okay, as you can see, everything has been removed. No profiles. Uh, close settings again. Now let me go back to settings. Now, this is the moment of truth. Uh, iOS, iPhone XR, iOS 15.3, and ta -da!
no same restrictions. Okay. So I'm going to graph my spectrum. I'm going to remove my SIM tray. The SIM tray is empty because we don't use anything anymore. Let me put it in. Moment of truth. I just ignore a little message. So it's picking up uh, automatically by default. It says my line, my ESIM has no service and my physical SIM is in spectrum. So I'm gonna back. Uh, let's do a test call real quick. Let me turn off the Wi Fi. One second, I'm waiting for the for my spectrum to be activated. Uh, takes a little bit longer. But as you can see, uh, it's picking up my phone number on cellular data. Well, that's why. Let me change the default line. I'm going to change the primary uh, to the cellular data. And my cellular data, I'm going to change to cellular data. I guess you have to relabel and make sure everything is running on your SIM card. Okay. So in primary, this is the... Uh, this is the eSIM. I'm going to, it's on. If you wanted to, you can turn it off. And I'm using my cellular data on my physical SIM. Do you notice that? Now it's reading, it's telling me that I had to, uh, two lines. One, which is used as a primary as the eSIM. And the second one with a phone number is your SIM card. So we can change the, let me see. We can change the name here and set up uh, appears as a sailor data. Let's change it for the spectrum. Okay, back. Now, instead of saying cellular data appears as a spectrum, and my and the non number is my eSIM. So you can turn it off and on. I don't need it, so it's off. And it's, it's going to show only one line that is active, my spectrum line. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, So my phone has been. Welcome to Spectrum Mobile. This call may be recorded for. Okay. Uh, let's do a uh, good internet. Apple. Okay. So it's working, guys. This is how you do a remote SIM lock. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description uh, where you can get it. And also everything that you need is going to be on the link. Unfortunately, uh, so right now I don't sell that. Uh, hopefully in the future. Uh, but it, it is legit, guys. I've been getting some uh, text messages and phone calls about this uh, remote. Uh, telling me if it was something not legit or it just was, uh, you know, people trying to, to, to get your money and you never see them again. Uh, this is legit, as you can see. Uh, I did have some issues because it was the first time I'm doing it, that I was doing it. Uh, uh, and the video is gonna be, <laughs> sorry for the video is gonna be taking a little bit longer, but uh, this is gonna be a lot of help for every, anyone trying to do the, the remote, especially if you are overseas. I've been getting a, uh, I've been getting a lot of messages and emails from, uh, from India, Africa, uh, requesting my product. Unfortunately, I only ship to US and Canada for now, but with this remote, 
uh, I can ship around the world. Uh, or as soon as I start selling those, uh, uh, go to the website uh, or to the link. Uh, they have a sale going on right now. I don't know how long. If you have any questions, please reach out to the uh, Hey Card team. Uh, cool. So I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe, guys. Bye-bye.